Welcome to today's video where we are gonna talk all about our pool bath tour. Everything from the patio, to the mud room, to the closet, to the actual bathroom, all was designed with the pool in mind. We wanted it to flow nice, we wanted everyone to be comfortable, but mostly we wanted to contain all of the water and the towels and the toys to one area. So as we walk into the mud room, we have a water fountain out here. I really am glad that we did that because we're gonna be outside here. She just went under your legs. That's Penny's way of saying she loves us. She's going back and forth. <laughs> here in a few months, it's gonna be over 100 degrees all summer long, so I'm really glad we put a water fountain out here. Just while the kids are running wild, they always have water. They can come inside too, but I like having that right there. Come on in into the mudroom. Welcome to our mudroom. If you hear a lot of noise, we have some people installing our shower door. Um, we're really excited to shower in there. Um, but this is our mudroom. We wanted it to be really open for when lots of kids run in from the pool. They've got an area right here. They've got a bathroom right here. Um, this is perfect for kids um, coming in from the pool and back patio. Then each kid has a locker. Whose locker should I choose? Here is Jackson's locker. Each kid has a locker where we have their hat, their coat, they have their book bag at school right now. And then in here, they have their shoes. I love this bench. It's perfect for us and the kids to put our shoes on. This is the same quartz countertop that all of the boys have upstairs in their bathroom. With this side over here, this originally was all lockers as well. And as soon as Jared and I saw that, we thought, no way, we need to cut lockers out. We really want an area for the dogs if we leave out of the house, maybe people are over and we need to bring the dogs and have them like in this uh, secure area. Um, so we took out some of the lockers and we measured it perfectly for the largest dog bed. So this is usually where um, Penny sleeps at night and I really like having that space designed into our cabinet tree. I love this drop zone. I always have dog treats. These are dog poop bags for when we go on walks. I have a little toy there. Um, up here is a little chaotic, but the kids have iPads that they have certain games on. They always call their cousin Ann and Ollie every day. It's, can we talk to Ann and Ollie and Finn? So yeah, we've got all that there. I really didn't think I was gonna love this. Um, because I don't like organize my mail or anything like that, but I love it for all of our dog supplies. It just seems like we have a lot of dog stuff, so I like having the cubbies there. I love the beaded backboard, and then Jared and I share a cubby as well. I have a bag, some hats, and then we keep um, some shoes in there as well. So then over here, you can walk into the uh, bathroom but I also wanna show you this pool closet, which I love. Um, I wanted there to be drawers in this closet because I didn't wanna see the mess. So if you come up here, um, luckily we're out of diapers, Jer, but these are swim diapers. Um, in this drawer, we've got Jared's swimming suits, my swimming suits, um, this is one of my favorite drawers. There's just like extra hats. This is all of our sunscreen. We've got the boys' sunglasses. And I believe there's nothing in here. Oh, there's a little there. Um, we did have a few toys, but we moved um, most of our goggles and toys outside. And then we have all of our towels. This is just an amazing pool closet. I love having this right off there. So come into the pool bath. This is hands down, I think, the most beautiful bathroom in the house. Um, thank you to Susan. She helped finish this bathroom off and design it and make it so beautiful. Um, like I said in, an, in another video, I feel like I'm really good at like details and I'm able to like pick a few really good things out, but to put it together, I'm not talented and she definitely is. So let's start up high with the lights. Um, Susan picked these from Circa Lighting and when I saw them, I loved it because it's probably not something I would have picked, but seeing it with the countertop, the flooring, it just 
feels so inviting and so beautiful. I saw a really pretty um, piece of artwork that I eventually want to get there. Coming down here to the faucet, this is really unique and this was Susan's idea to break up the bathrooms and have the pool bath be kind of unique. So our pool bath and our guest bath have the same kind of faucet and handle coming out of the wall, which I really think is fun um, and it's just different. And it completed the bathroom to me. This is the bathroom that most people use if we have people coming over. This is the main bathroom that people use. So I really want everyone to feel really welcome in here. This is a really busy bathroom. Lots of people are going in and out of it. So I have a little tray here, a bunch of ponytails. When you go to the pool, we got lotion. We have a salt water pool, which I really like, but it still is a pool and it dries you out. And then I have a little canister here with sunscreen, combs, and anything that we would need. This is my new favorite sunscreen. Um, I didn't think I would love it, but I do, it's like out. Come down to the cabinetry. How, Jared? How did we get so lucky with the cabinetry design? Um, Susan designed this pool bath cabinetry. Um, she was like, you want it to be more welcoming, kind of like a hotel. Have this under area open. It makes people feel like they can actually get into your cupboards. Have you ever like gone somewhere and you're like, crap, I need something, and you kind of feel a little weird opening up their drawer? It just is, feels welcoming. All the kids have their own swimming suits. We've got extra towels right here. I love these handles. All of these handles are from Amrock. You could open this up. I just think it's so cute. I've got some soap for our laundry detergent, some extra items. And then over here, toilet paper, toilet paper. These are all extras of things that people would need. And then I love this drawer. I have not tried this out yet, but I am determined to keep my long hair. It has taken me a while to get there. So if I go swimming, I wanna try and use this. It's a aqua guard for your hair. Um, I haven't used it yet, so I'm excited to try that. The flooring, Susan knocked it out of the park as soon as we were at the tile store and she showed me this. I was like, I want that. This is the only marble that we did in the house, and I'm really glad that we utilized the marble for this bathroom because people are coming in and out a lot of it, like heightens this bathroom and makes it really beautiful. I showed you that we had laundry detergent under here because over here, this is our old washer and dryer. It's a stackable washer and dryer now and we use it for all of our pool towels. My sister-in-law is building a home and she's been asking me about my, our washer and dryer that we filmed a long time ago for our laundry room that we showed you. We're gonna do another laundry room tour that was sponsored by Best Buy when we did that tour and it really was focusing on the washer and dryer. It makes such a big difference having a washer and dryer that has a really good ventilation system we have these, we're gonna use them and love them, but I am gonna be excited the day that I replace these because I don't love them and I haven't loved them for a long time, but it's something that I can work with. I just need to clean the bin more, it's just more of an upkeep, so I really need to clean this a lot more. Um, I never close it, I always leave it kind of open to air out. Um, but yeah, these are our old ones. I still am really grateful that we have those there. We have some hardware right here for towels. And then my favorite hardware um, from Signature Hardware is right here. This is our toilet paper holder. I love how simple it is. And then over here, this is, ah! This is the shower that Jared and I have been using the last three months because um, they are installing ours today. You can pull it out or you can push it in and it's, it's just an awesome shower. I love the penny tile, but this is my favorite tile I have ever, ever, ever seen. Um, it's really simple. It kind of reminds me of like fish scales. It's the same tile that we have in our kitchen as well. The shower is huge. It's huge. I <laughs> if I understood um, house plans and design and I saw that it was so big, I probably would have told them, let's make this a lot smaller and make this 
feel a lot bigger so that like multiple bodies could be in here. <laughs> um, but it is beautiful nonetheless. So we've got an awesome spot to sit. Um, I imagine in the summer when the kids are done with the pool, they'll literally like, again, play with toys in here while they shower. But yeah, this is our pool shower. We have some beautiful fixtures. They're really simple, but pretty. These are from Signature Hardware. And that is our pool bath.